Hello everyone and welcome to this video where we are going to talk about the updates that are hitting the Avala class vessels that you see here, the RSV Avala and the RSV Adria, as well as the fixes to the diving bell and some of the other things. So I'm going to explain the changes, show you how the diving bell works, and hopefully you guys are going to enjoy these creations more than ever. So without further ado, let's get going. For those of you that may not be familiar with the Avala class vessel and especially the RSV Avala, it is a workhorse vessel that has a massive crane, it has a moon pool here, it comes with a diving bell, a bunch of accessories, vehicles, all kinds of things, and it is not my largest vessel but my second largest vessel and it is the most advanced one that I have to date. So with those things said, there has been changes that I needed to make with regards to some of the microcontrollers and especially with the way that the diving bell worked and some other stuff. As I'm sure you guys have heard me say before, it is an ongoing battle to keep vehicles in Stormworks fully updated. There's always something that has to be done, whether it is adding an accessory vehicle, for example, like that boat in the back has now been updated, the rib. So this is now featuring the latest version of my rib. However, this helicopter is still the same old helicopter that I had over two or three years ago. So it would be nice to update the helicopter. It'd be nice to update the mini sub, stuff like that. So I'm kind of tackling it as and when is needed. If it works, it works. And I'm focusing on newer creations, of course. Now in here, it does look similar to before. So you're not going to see a right like a difference right away. But what you will find is that now the Avala actually has the maneuver mode. So previously, it didn't have the position hold via thrusters, only the um, Adria had that feature. Now you could press this position hold via thrusters, and if we turn up our wind all the way, it'll actually use the system of propellers that it has on it to keep it in place and in the same rotation no matter what. So this is a very nice microcontroller that I think I've developed here. And as you can see, the front's pushing out and it more or less will stay in place. This is especially good if you're running the uh, diving bell beneath the surface of the water and you don't want to lose the position, especially if someone is inside it and you don't want to have it kind of get dragged off the seabed. So this is one of the features that I've added. And like I said, there's the maneuver mode which pretty much lets you rotate the vessel and push the vessel. It's not very fast. I'm going to make clip that rib in the back there. Oh, we just missed it. Anyways, so you do get a couple of extra features with regards to that. Now, the other big thing is the amazing microcontroller that was made by White EU with my um, sort of directions, I guess. And then White EU went ahead and made an amazing system. Now this system isn't quite optimized for a two by two, but you can quite still see it just as magnitude percentage up there. And then you have the three different modes. So if we press this, it's in motion scanning. So what the nice thing is, is you can actually then drive the vessel, assuming we don't smash into this wall right there. But you pretty much drive the vessel and it will scan the seabed as it goes. Now I found that the best speed is around 10 knots. You can for sure play with it yourself but what is sweet is you can also project this to the helm screen so someone is over there controlling that but you can be over here watching it as you drive of course you can't interact with this screen but you can interact with that one so it's just the projection of the screens now that is one of the bigger things that was added of course we added the um the maneuver mode and stuff now the other thing is the updated rib and of course the updated diving bell of course there's tons of other changes including the anchor microcontroller adding in the ventilation ports so people don't suffocate inside the fix inside the ship and all kinds of other fixes that were done so it's not just these things but these types of systems go unnoticed when you come to more intricate uh, style of updates that I'm gonna talk about here. So little fixes always, this goes without saying, I try to keep this thing as updated as possible, especially because I know how many of you love it. But as you can see here, that is the seabed scanning system. Of course, you can adjust the sensitivity 
and get a good feel for what's beneath you. And as we can see beneath us is the shipwreck here. So this shipwreck is here. Now we're going to deploy the diving bell down to it and kind of give you an idea of how the diving bell works. So the first thing you have to do when you are on this vessel is make sure that the winch is connected to the diving bell. So as you can see right now, the winch is not connected to anything, it seems. So you can take this, plug it in, and then you can either jump off this or make your way down, climb onto the roof of the diving bell. And of course, the center connector here is power to winch. So you attach that one. That's the most important one. These other ones are just for lifting. They're just lifting lugs. This is the actual one that you have to have. Now, of course, you can't open the trap door if this is sitting here. So you have to release the bottom connectors. Otherwise, you will end up damaging that um, trap door. So you could also disconnect it from here. You have the uh, diving bell that can be released, but we've already released it. Then we can sit down on the big gantry crane controls. You get a feel for the monitor display. Now here, you can actually turn on the moon pool lights. You can also open the trap door. It says diving bell must be released. So we do have it released. So we can go ahead and open it. Now you still see that there is that bottom one and you could open the bottom one. So with all that in place, now of course you can drop this by pressing five or six. But the thing that you have to remember, first of all, is it does move very fast, so it can go to deeper depths. I'm probably going to turn down the sensitivity on it, or probably what I'll do is if the length of this wire is so-and-so, it'll just go slower. Anyways, now we can actually go into the diving bell. The system is operated such that one person can fully utilize it. Now, this door only opens when you are not underwater, so of course you can now hop into the diving bell and we'll close this door. Now you do have this airlock and what I did is I've actually added these different doors here. So you kind of see how those work. And this one down there is a push style. But what this one is here is a toggle style. So this one is more important. Uh, the bottom one is just if you kind of want to open it up and get yourself in which I may change to be honest to a toggle style button as well but this is what you have to do so you now have that bottom one opened this one you don't really need open but now it is ready to be deployed now I um, recommend you take a seat otherwise you're gonna get flopped around and you can now lower the diving bell and as you can see now it's not going any deeper than this even with the cable very loose the cable is actually flopped much further down so the reason why it's not happening is because this chamber is not fully flooded so you got to let the chamber flood and actually when you press this button there's pumps inside the bottom chamber that allows it to um, become ne negative buoyant negatively buoyant and now it is slowly dropping now the one thing you got to make sure is that we're not gonna smack into the shipwreck so i'm not quite sure how far the cable is oh there we go so the cable is only that deep so then again you can press lower yeah i definitely have to turn down the sensitivity for the winch like it is nice to fall fast but at the same time that does seem like you can end up in trouble especially like this oh well, that seems to be good so now of course you can get off your seat you can open this airlock and because we have the, the system that we have now with the compressed gases, it won't flood into this compartment. You put on your diving suit, grab a spear gun if you want, and out you go. So there you go. You can now explore the shipwreck, and you can easily make your way back to the diving bell for a, um, for a rest. Now, of course, your area in here is highly compressed, so I do recommend you pop out of the airlock as soon as possible. That's just a uh, downside of the current system where in here now is a very compressed amount of air. There's a ton of water and there's a lot of air and that air is compressed to a very small space. So it doesn't quite work the way I really would have wanted it to. And I'll see if I can make any fixes, but for now you have some first aid 
so you can heal up and make sure you don't end up um, getting injured from that that the um, pressure in there. Now maybe what I will do is put a pump that will actually pump out the air. Maybe that's going to do the trick. So I'll see how that works. But regardless, it is a working system now. You got your diving bell. You got your um, ship very much updated. Of course, when you're raising it up, you got to be quite careful here so you don't end up smacking into the bottom of the ship. I know I have a video where I actually went ahead and did that and caused myself a lot of uh, grief. So I will update that. It will take a little longer for the diving bell to get down to the area, but I think it'll be overall a better experience for everyone as well as the couple other fixes I mentioned here. But overall, the system's working, the ship's working, and I hope you all enjoy it. I can't wait to see the comments and the sort of uh, feedback that I get. Now, one of the things that I really do like here as well is if you go to the control center of the ship, if you are playing multiplayer with a friend, and one friend is inside the diving bell and the other one is still on the ship, you can actually operate... Um, you have a camera here, but you also have a feed into the diving bell so as long as you turn this on and enable rov equipment video feed so the idea behind that is that if you have an rov connected it's going to be attached to that if you have a um this diving bell attached it's just going to cycle through the feeds so you can see your friends inside and you can see the exterior view of that diving bell and of course you can also control it here so you can winch it up and out accordingly and make it kind of come back into its cradle here so thank you all for watching stay tuned for more and as always happy storm everyone